In the 1960s, Don Yanko emerged as one of the SCCA's top road racers. But Yanko became famous for what he did away from the racetrack. He took regular Chevy production cars and turned them into bona fide racing machines, selling them at his Pennsylvania car dealership. Not many were made and relative few still survive, making Yanko's some of the most sought after collector cars in the world. Today, four partners and their team are taking on a huge challenge. Build a replica 1969 Camaro that uses today's technology but remains faithful to the original. It's a gamble that could breathe new life into a legend. Hello and welcome once again to Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm Dave Dobson. You know, there are mechanics on just about every street corner that can maintain or repair your family grocery getter. But this 69 Yanko Camaro Resto Mod is not your average car, especially when it comes to the bodywork. So that's where the guys at Brand New Muscle Car hand it over to Martin and Tony. This part of the process is super important to the final result. We're taking this all new, all metal body it's pretty good, but it's not great, and we want it to be great. These bodies are built one at a time, by hand. The sheet metal comes from a variety of sources. In the 60s, these bodies were built with all in-house parts, big corporation, an assembly line. The consistency was much better. So now what we have to do is, is we have to go over all the gaps, all the panel alignment, the sheet metal, and get it to where we want it, which is up to modern standards. Really good gaps, nice and symmetrical, everything's even. And then what the guys are doing now is they're going over the bodywork. So they'll go over the bodywork, they'll get all the dents and dings out, all the wiggles and waves, and make sure that everything is perfectly straight, perfectly symmetrical, and looks really, really nice. Right now, Martin's working on the biggest seam on the car. It's the natural seam where the sheet metal from the roof meets the sheet metal from the quarter panel. It's overlapped, it's welded, just like they did at the factory. He's fiberglassed it, he sanded that down, and then he's gonna cover it with body filler and sand it out and make sure it goes away and looks perfect. Up on the front, we'll look at the hood and the fenders. It's a perfect place to talk about gaps. One of the things that we spend a lot of time on is on the metal, we try to make sure all the gaps are 3 16 They're perfectly lined up, they're perfectly symmetrical, they look nice like a brand new car. In the 60s, they were not this nice. The tolerance on gaps was about a half inch. It was about the size of your thumb. As long as it got within that, it was good enough, it went out the door. But nowadays, customers are used to new cars which have exacting tolerances on gaps. So what we try to do on these cars is make them look like a brand new car, give them good gaps, 3 16 they're all symmetrical, they all line up, and it makes the car really look nice when it's done and painted. When the guys are finished with this car, it'll be like stepping back in time. It'll look just like a brand new Yanko Camaro from a half century ago. Don Yanko converted fewer than a thousand Chevys altogether, and many of those have been lost to history. We estimate there might be as many as 300 of them still in existence. It's really very rare for a Yanko car to survive the experience of being used. People ask me, well, if you bought your Stinger new, why in the world would you risk it on a racetrack? Well, my investment was about $3,000 for that car in 1966. It's worth considerably more than that in today's market, but I bought it to have fun with it and enjoy it. That's what happened with most all the Yanko cars that were sold over so many years. So that's why there are so few. Back in the days where these cars were put together, these people love cars. From the time you were six years old, all you could impatiently wait for is the time you could drive. Uh, there are lots of reproductions out there. I guess imitation is a form of flattery, that so many people have made what they refer to as clones or reproductions. It's nice because it introduces the current car population to something that they were not exposed to. As far as I'm concerned, as long as nobody's trying to promote something that isn't legit, it's a compliment. Maybe it will uh, convince some younger people that it seems like there's fewer and fewer of them anymore that really can relate to these cars, you know, and it'll never totally fizzle out, I don't imagine. Martin is doing his part to keep love alive for the American muscle car, passing his passion on to son-in-law Tony. He's also passing along his love for having a good time. Woo! My team win yesterday. The best team in Mexico, no matter what. Azul, they are. I mean, how can you not be the best team when you buy the referees? Come on. Come I mean, on. I'll be the best body it. man if I buy everybody nah, here, too. Nah, nah, nah. You're <laughs> jealous. You're jealous because it's the best team. That's why. 
Where is the Cruz Azul, baby? Why are we touching that subject? Uh, you see? Guatemala Blanco is your favorite player, right? Yes. Which most of the time you spend on the floor crying, right? Uh-uh. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. What does this remind you of? <laughs> Guatemo Blanco. Ah. <laughs> I'm sorry, don't fire me. Just when Tony least suspects it, Martin pulls the old switcheroo. Oh, hell no. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, I, I, I think you prepared oh, like, for what me. What are you doing? I think you prepared for me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When we return, if you want a good looking car, you've got to start with a high quality body. And as the Camaro starts to take shape, Martin gives it a little personality. I know it's a Jinko, but it's to put in a, a nice, beautiful name. Classic Industries presents brand new muscle car Yanko Camaro is brought to you by Chris Austin's Chassis Works, the home of higher technology. Performance Unlimited, your crate engine experts, building your dream and ours one engine at a time. DJS Fabrications, the best mobile car dolly built today. And by Classic Industries, America's first choice in restoration and performance parts and accessories. Welcome back to Tulsa. The guys in this building create 60s muscle cars brand new from the ground up and working on the same car for months at a time can bring you very close to the project. It's like my son. He come in with nothing and they starting with a shell, shell it is, no motors, no suspension or nothing. And then when you finish, you feel like it's your son. What is the name of this one, Tony? Let's go thinking about it. Any time when you finish, you gotta put in a name. So let's go try to see what name I put in this one. I know it's a jingle, but let's put in a, a nice, beautiful name. Cleopatra. Oh, snap. Yes, let's put in Cleopatra. How about that? Yeah, no, it's not. Sexy name, Cleopatra. Sometimes you see it in a TV, making a car in a week, oh, two weeks. Sometimes CMTV is not the same in, in reality. So sometimes the customer, he think, oh, look at this, I can make this car in a week. It's not, it's not true. He sometimes take a month from doing in a car or, or doing in a project. There's a difference to making a car for show and TV or making a car for the customer. Everything is aftermarket, you know, it comes in the best parts, but sometimes come a little bit off, sometimes come a little bit short. And then sometimes I need to, to make it like work with the car to put in a little bit metal and make it right. This sometimes it's giving us a little bit hard, but when he come in here, they use the magic. <laughs> I'm not the best, but I, I like to make nice cars. I like to make beautiful cars, you know? That's what I'm trying to, to make. And, and that's what I try to do all the time. Making a nice car starts with using the best parts. For the guys smoothing and shaping the sheet metal, having a great body shell to begin with is a godsend. Our reproduction bodies come from a company called R3 Performance. They're in California. They make new bodies from scratch out of sheet metal. And we love them because when you're buying these bodies, we need them to be as straight as possible. We know we're going to work on them some, but obviously the less we can work on them, the faster the build, the faster the process, the happier the customer, the more cars we can put out. They measure the car inside and out about 40 different ways. And that's really, really important when you're building a car from scratch out of a pile of aftermarket parts. They took years to develop their system, and we're glad they did. They were licensed by Ford to build the 65 to 70 Mustang convertible and fastback. We sought cars out from every plant that Ford produced the Mustang. Once we had all the steel bought, all the cars bought, we measured everything up, we started designing and building our jigs. So we had to see what all worked in these cars and what worked best. And currently today, we start out with the center point of the car. And as we build, we continue to add jigs to the car. When the car is completely done, there's jigs throughout the bottom of the car. There's jigs up into the rear floor plan, the front apron area and the inside, through the front windshield, the rear windshield, the dash. I mean, where all the mounting points are. So we spend a lot of time designing and building jigs. We know what it takes to build a car. And we know what it takes to make something right. Every shell we build gets a serial number. So if you have an issue with that shell, let's say for an example, we'll check five before that and five after that to make sure there wasn't a consistent problem. We take a lot of time 
and a lot of pride in building our shells. We actually have a manual on how our shells are built. We feel confident enough on our product that we offer a 36 month warranty on our workmanship. I don't think there's anybody else in the industry that's offering that. Brand New Muscle Car is one of our dealers and uh, David contacted me and we were talking and he says I want to start getting into this Camaro stuff, I got a deal going down, I want you guys to build a body. So we did a prototype and we're now working with David and GM to hopefully get us licensed into that series as well. A few companies started making new body shells 15 years ago, and while they were a far cry from today's bodies, they were enough to inspire David Miller to create a brand new business. They announced the bodies, I immediately thought, wow, this is great, it's going to be a really cool niche, we can build whole classic cars from scratch, sell them as a product. Couldn't sleep that night, got up 6 a.m., registered at brandnewmuscar.com, just on my own. We've all done restorations and stuff in the past, but David's the one that wanted to come up with this concept of, let's, hey, let's put something from the ground up. And, try to make a business out of it. Nobody catch him at the first time. It's like, what are you talking about? I put it on the web, organized it, built it, launched it, crickets. <laughs> I mean, no one got it. The employees, customers, no one got it. But we all kind of agreed it'd be fun to try it. Really, when they start to do the first one and the second car, this is when I start to see what he's talking about. Our huge thing that we wanted to do, have somebody else do the collision work, you know, paint the Kias and the Toyotas and do all that, and we get to work on the cool cars. We've been doing that for about three and a half years now, and we just love it. In the first year, we sold a car. Last year, you know, we, we sold a dozen cars. Now, 15 years later, it's cool. When we come back, you won't believe this 50-year-old Yanko Camaro that's barely been driven. And Martin does his thing. He drives us nuts. Sometimes we want to kill him. Photos and documents shown on brand new muscle car Yanko Camaro, courtesy of Mark Gillespie. For even more about Don Yanko and the supercars that made his dealership famous, look online for the Yanko era and the Yanko era continued Cannonsburg and beyond. When I open it, a little bit right here, and right here. Why? The thing about Martin is he doesn't care what everyone thinks. He wants it right. He wants it perfect. We all know that. He drives us nuts. Sometimes we want to kill him, but we all know that it's because he wants the result to be right. When you opened it up, it hit right in the corner. Why? There's one problem. In spite of all their work, Tony mm. notices the door and fender are rubbing together. Maybe, Good cutter, maybe, when you hit, maybe when you hit him, do not cut it up a little bit, maybe you push the, the fender. So now, send, send it in again, mm -hmm. and try to push the fender out, and then do it in again. You don't, you don't need the right hit in this area. One of the great things about Tony is, obviously he's half the age of Martin, and I'm not saying anything bad about Martin, Martin and I are the same age. Tony is young, he's got new ideas, he's excited. We love the energy and the passion he brings to it, because this is all new to him. And there's something to be said about that. Oh, that's a lot better. Much better, right? Oh, yeah. I'm still a little high here, a little bit high here. I'm um, obviously in my low spots. I kind of tapped them in already. But I sent just a little bit more before I throw my second hand to uh, hopefully have it where I need it before I glaze it. If Martin's not around, immediately go to Tony. They're a great team. It's Batman and Robin back there and they sort of both manage everyone, and it keeps the quality high, which is what we like. This is the American Muscle Car Museum in Melbourne, Florida, and chances are our show will be the only way you get a look inside. The museum is only open for charity fundraisers, doing tons of good for the community, and it's home to the world's largest collection of Yanko conversion cars, over two dozen, and just about every car in Mark Pilock's collection has incredibly low mileage. I've been collecting cars ever since I was in college. So by the time I graduated, I had six cars. By the time I was 30 years old, I had 12 vehicles. And so as I would restore cars and I put all the time and effort, I didn't like selling them. So I'm trying to collect always the lowest original mileage car possible, and that fills that collection of all the years. We have over 66 vehicles with less than 100 original miles. We have another three dozen vehicles between 100 and 1,000 original miles, and another three dozen vehicles between 1,000 and 10,000 original miles. We also have over 125 frame-off national show-winning vehicles that have been perfectly detailed and concourse-winning standards. So the collection here is extremely high quality. We've got a 1968 Don Yanko Camaro out here. This particular car is done in a Sequoia green, has a black interior. 
Like all Don Yanko cars, it's got a big motor in it. This is a 427, 450 horsepower, run it to an M21, close ratio transmission. This car has a big race history. The dealership that sold it originally was in Bray 9 in Melbourne, Kansas. In 1970, the car was bought by A.J. Lancaster. He's an NHRA drag racer. Uh, immediately pulled out the original Don Yanko motor, stored it, and proceeded to race the car for quite a few years. When A.J. quit racing, he put the original Don Yanko motor back in the car, sold the car. This is one of the lowest mile Yanko cars known to exist with 1,304 miles on the car. We had the car at the concourse, the Elegance in Amelia Island last year. The car won best of class. The Koya Green is a very unique color and to find vehicles with only 1,318 original miles, you don't find them very often. Body work requires attention to the smallest detail, and only technicians with the steadiest of hands can call themselves artists. <laughs> Sorry. Uh huh. So Martin and Tony don't want to make things easier on one another, because that would just make too much sense. <laughs> I help you too. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me put it like this. Okay, go. Bring it back. Oh, oh, you're going too fast? <laughs> so right now we gotta clean up the prep station and get ready, because we're getting ready to prime the car. Hey Dave, that actually looks perfect for something I got going on over here. Can you come help me out? Sure. Classic Industries presents brand new muscle car Yanko Camaro is brought to you by Exalta Coating Systems. We paint winners. Scoggin Diggy Park Center, your source for custom built street to strip power. Clamp Tight, the clamp making tool. And by brand new muscle car, building yesterday's dream cars today. Welcome back to Tulsa, home of brand new muscle car. The guys here are creating a 1969 Yanko Camaro resto mod from the ground up. Body men Tony and Martin have finished with a Bondo. Now it's on to the glaze. Bondo basically uh, is body filler when you got to fill up a couple of bands, wherever it's smashed in. This glaze is like a smoother coat, and what this gives it is just basically our final touch. It's like working in the house, putting your last pieces of trim, only problem with this, we got to sand it. <laughs> Glaze is more flexible to play with, help us with the pinholes, with deep, deep scratches. So, I mean, it helps us give it that good finishing look, that smooth look that we actually want. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there, Martin? And then he got a little dent right there, look. We don't charge extra for extra materials, right? No, no. Martin runs the body shop. He's a quality control manager. He keeps all the guys in line. He's super, super high attention to detail. Uh, right now I'm putting my uh, Geico to do the final sand and make sure everything is fine, everything is straight. When I put him in here and I start sanding, he show me what is the high and low spots, and then is when I try to make it like a little bit more straight. You see? He show me like it's a little bit in, right here, like a little dent. And the moment it disappears, the whole blast, when I'm done, I mean, everything is straight, everything is fine. No high, no low spots, everything is ready to put him in primer. Martin is very, very passionate about what he does. He's been doing this for decades. Nothing but the best will do for Martin, and he makes sure that all the employees tow the same line. Grandpa! Hi, Grandpa! How are you today, Grandpa? Why are you coming so late? Hey, you do realize you're older than me, right? Hey, why, why are you coming so late? Oh, I forgot your back is hurt this morning because it's too cold. You know you're older than me. You know, like this. 22 years. Martin, kind of like Dustin, you just want him on your side. It's so nice to walk back there every morning and see his face. You know, he's always smiling. You know, yeah, there's things that come up throughout the day, and he gets irritated. You know, it's, that's the body man's job, right? Get irritated with the car. Do you need a walking stick? It is too cold this morning. You come in like, you see? You see? Are you still wearing your girdle? I'm just asking. Are you still wearing the girdle? 
you know, I think I might get him a cane for his next birthday. Very older, but very, I respect him more than, more than he probably actually knows. Hello, you see this figure? That's what you want, but you can have it. Yeah, we basically do a little bit of the painter's job trying to help them out, which they don't really appreciate it sometimes. As you can see, when they come bug my, my father-in-law over here, messing with him because of his age, but he's all right, he's all right. Well, Tony's right. The paint guys could be helping out a bit, but as you can see, they're busy doing other things. Whoa, whoa, go, 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 out there. Yeah! USA, USA, USA. Really? <laughs> now you might remember from the last episode, Martin and Tony had a little fun with an air compressor and an empty water bottle. At Jared's expense, of course. I think I need to be right back. <laughs> Ten. Wow. <laughs> oh, paybacks, you know how that works. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they say revenge is sweet. And next week, while Martin and Tony get back to work on the body, the paint guys figure out a way to even the score. Do you have any now. rolls of firecrackers? You do realize that you are older than me yeah. by like 22 years. If he's older and you look like that, I don't know what happened. <laughs> you want, want to see something beautiful? Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Blow. Ah! <laughs> it's still there, right? I'm not. And it's still there, right? Don't want to be Because you got this strange thing going on that I don't want to be a part of. <laughs>